welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. This podcast episode is dedicated to anticipation. Anticipation. There's so much of it right now. And tension. <laughs> All the tension. You know what I'm talking about. So sultry. That was beautiful. <laughs> All right. That reminded me of the video I made of you eating a chip. <laughs> to that oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome, guys. I hope you're doing fantastic. Oh. We're having a great time. We're going to talk about some magic today. But first, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we have our random card of the day in three, two, one. Slum Reaper. This is a 4-2 for four, 3 and a black. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. Uh, I like these cards, actually. There's kind of a... We see these every once in a while, I yeah. feel like, in like just standard sets. And mm -hmm. for limited, I feel like they're fine. Yeah. They're not great because no. the player sacrifices, so they get to choose what dies. Well, right. That's the thing. But is this, um, I feel like, is really bad Chupacabra. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, sort of. It's really like they they each come in on four. Mm. Um, although I think Chief Garber's a two two. If that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yes he is. Um, be that as it may, like uh, four power is. I mean that's solid on yeah. a on on a creature if we're talking limited. Mm. Um, I the two toughness scares me a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna um, die real quick. <laughs> I, ideally, you want this to be able to block like to dissuade opponents from attacking yeah, you, right? Yeah, yeah. To, like, be a presence. Mm -hmm. um, and just the two toughness, a bunch of stuff kills this. Yeah. That, like, I don't want to invest my turn four into, I mean, potentially sack, sacking, you know, mm -hmm. one of my own things. Like, shrinking my board to get something that I know is probably going to die pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, what? Best case scenario here, mm -hmm. you play this, sacrifice one of your really terrible dudes that's just been outpowered already. Sure against a board where they only have one or two creatures that are much higher value so like yeah. they have to sack something terrible or something good you mm -hmm. get to sack something that really doesn't matter anyway and then you have a leftover four two that can hopefully trade with something yeah. like that's the biggest like best mm -hmm. scenario mm -hmm. i would say mm -hmm. the other thing just mm -hmm. to note with this um it's a bit of a corner case so don't ever expect this to like come up all the time or anything but uh this does kind of get around hexproof if it's the only creature on the opponent's <laughs> that is, board that is fair it does um that's like the biggest upside to this though is that it does yeah. get around hexproof and there but was, again they know. spread their board out then yeah it doesn't really matter but there was hexproof in this set there um, was yeah this was from return to ravnica originally right right so i mean th then that is true and I mean, thinking about it, it is it is a win more card. So yeah, this does help with board parity, I yep. suppose, because this is, I guess, a strict upgrade from, like you said, one of your little rinky dink guys. Yeah. Which by turn four, you should have something that's probably, uh, hopefully, you'll have something left over. I should right. say, right, um, right, right. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, I like cards like this, uh, but they're, I've found them to be just a slight <laughs> underwhelming factor, is what I will say. Yeah. Well, I think still good, but. Yeah, I mean, it, this kind of cards like this really like flirt with being too good. I mean, we talk, we look at Chupacabra. Mm -hmm. It got printed in a master set. Yeah, right. Well, uh, this got printed in Ultimate Masters. To be fair, did it really? Yeah, it did. Oh <laughs> lord. Uh, but I mean, there you go. Like it comes in yeah. and kills something. Really, technically two things. So yeah. I mean, triggered effects. You know, yada 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 yada. Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole other thing that you can build right. around with the with a card like this. Right. So they represent a lot of potential. Mm. Um, I just worry efficiency. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. On this card specifically, let me specify. This effect is, I think, good. But yeah. on a four two, I don't know. Yeah. No, you know? I get it. I get it. Uh, I do think limited is really the only place that these this sees a home. Also, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, maybe this... in commander, I will say only if it's like kind of a jank deck and you're trying to get just as many sack outlets as possible. But yeah. I feel like there are a million better ways to do it. I mean, sure, but I think that as a budget <laughs> option, I it think, is a good budget option. Yeah, I think yeah. you can talk about that a little bit. It's um, Ten cents, if you're uh, interested. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think uh, blood art. No, what's his name? Yeah, no, blood artist wants to say busiest here. Yeah, he wants you to sack it, and then Vicious yeah, yeah. Seer gives you the scry if you sack a creature. And then you can come Well, only off. two Vicious Seer, right? Like, it doesn't work on other sack effects. Uh, Yeah, you sack it to the Vicious Seer, and right. then you can... Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> interesting card. Uh, it is. Weirdly, a lot to talk about with that. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, removal and limited is, is paramount, 
right? It is. And no, so, absolutely. It is removable. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so we have kind of two things to talk about. Uh, the big thing, mm. which we will talk about in just a little bit, is going to be War of the Spark. Obviously, we've gotten some new information in the last few days that we thought we would share with you. Looking to be a really good set. Uh, but on top of that, just before we have the ban list announcement, uh, right. March 11th, uh, nothing happened. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no I would have drum, yeah, the drum no roll. Uh, so, okay, here's the thing. Everybody was kind of b wording about Nexus of Fate. I can't Jeez. say the actual b word uh, uh, about Nexus of Fate. Right. Well, they're yeah, 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 and yeah, they they didn't ban it. Uh, no, they were looking not. at it. To be fair, they did. They checked some data. They checked some uh, tournament results, yeah. online results, which they pull a lot of stuff from, um, and found that. While Nexus of Fate decks uh, make up about 14% of the meta overall, mm. um, they don't, uh, and this is generalizing, but they don't tend to win. Right. A the lot. big complaint is that they just take forever, <laughs> right? Like that yeah. was the biggest issue is that decks go to time so often yeah. with the Nexus of Fate thing. And right. like they, for anybody that for whatever reason doesn't know or maybe doesn't play on Arena, Nexus of Fate is banned on Arena where it's mm -hmm. a one of game. It is not a three of match. Right. Uh, in a three of match, you can pretty easily beat the Nexus of Fate deck. In a one of match, it's like, okay, they're pretty high high chance of winning like on yeah. the first game or whatever Definitely. so it makes sense that they banned it there and did not ban it in paper is the takeaway there right i mean it, it smacks of stuff like um uh ad nauseum where game yeah. one if you because no one texts for yeah ad nauseum no, no. so game <laughs> one uh you are likely to lose if you can't do anything against them but then right. game two you can side in some of your yeah you know there's and with 14% of the meta being taken up by a deck like this, it's, oh. I mean, people are going to sideboard for it. So, like, it's, right. there will be options for you. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal, but they did not ban it. I don't know if anybody's right. really pissed about it. but um, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of uproar. I haven't either. Uh, there was no kerfuffle yet. Good word. Um, thank you. Thank you. It was beautiful. Uh, so Nexus of Fate, yeah. <laughs> interesting card. There, Very interesting. Other yeah. card that we talked about last episode that people have... Uh, flirted with the B word about uh, <laughs> is that ancient stirrings. Um, oh yeah, you know, and I think that of any card, yeah, I would have expected that one to be. I didn't so, expect Nexus of Fate to be. Banned. I will say this uh, because I've been seeing a lot about faithless looting. Yes, I have. Two, I have actually. seen so I much, two, literally in just the last few days, about yep. uh, faithless looting being banned. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of were like, they were like, "Oh, faithless looting might gonna get banned," and I'm like, "Right." Well, I so mean, every, yes, but like, no. <laughs> like, well, here's what brought all really this on so. is is one sparky little bird, little sparky bird, little fiery chicken. Yeah, you know, yeah, is yeah. it is it Phoenix came in and molly whopped my uh, modern, yeah, just yeah, hit it on the head, honestly. And I mean, it, I, I don't want to say it turned the format around um, because it didn't necessarily. No, but I mean, we still see a lot of the same decks we have been. It's exactly. just this reinvented the the is it aggro deck. Yeah, and it, it definitely. I mean, it is an it was an instant presence. Like there oh, was yeah. there was no you know what I think might be good is it Phoenix <laughs> could be good. It was literally printed next day modern. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, was, it was at the next tournament. It was like <laughs> oh yeah, uh, there's about sixty or seventy is it Phoenix <laughs> here. So let's let's and it did well. If uh, I the, yeah. Did it win? It's one. It's one of few. You, I know um, it's one of few. I don't know if it won the first, but regardless, it's yeah. a very powerful card. But then right. the question becomes, why not just ban the Phoenix? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that's why my... ban Faithless Looting? Because that hits so many decks. Arclight right. Phoenix, Phoenix, excuse me, only hits the that I know of the blue yeah, no, red aggro not, deck. I don't knowledge, think it's in any other deck. No, I don't think it makes sense for any other deck. No, um, the, the only uh, well, no, no, it doesn't work. I was say gonna it. say I was say it. no, it was it was dumb. Say I feel it. dumb. I was gonna say graveyard recursion decks because it is a graveyard recursive creature, but that's uh, all creature uh, based. So right. like it doesn't right, make right. any sense. I see sense. what you're saying, but yeah. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, and I was thinking some crafty little uh, jund aggro yeah. or rural aggro, but there isn't like aside from zoo, there's not really a no like good no no jund no. shell. And normally that yeah, normally the zoo decks are like Naya. Right, exactly. they used to be. At least. I mean, really, I just for Helix now. and like a few other tech cards. But yes, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, Nakadal, Wild Nakadal. Yeah, it's such a good card. I love that. Yeah. I opened it's one crispy. the other day uh, on a Crackerback, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah. I love that. 
Look at you. I love opening you. like not. It's not even like a high value card. It's like a twenty five cent card. But, but it's like, like it's one of those like oh this is actually useful. <laughs> like, yeah. Stick it in the useful pile. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> why why the coddle so cute? Like, I it's can't, a good card. Yes. I can't think of like because it's only in zoo, right? Oh yeah. 100%. And I can't think of a time when zoo was like <laughs> scary. I, Melissa De Toro played zoo at the last. I think. Did she really? Uh, at like the last tournament she played in, if I'm not mistaken. Well, she's the on, last modern yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's played standard for a while when yeah. uh, good old She's Tusk a good player. Around. Dude, she's yeah. such a good player. She's a pro. I'm glad she's designing cards now. Yeah, you see good the sets. Her. You see the sets we're getting? Yeah. You see what's happening? Uh, Thank you. Her and Paul Chion, way to be there, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely. Um, anyway, right, Faithless Looting, though. Yeah, fa- that's, what we, back that's, on track. That's, that's what we were talking about. Um, Okay, I just want to mention something Yeah. I, before we get back on topic. Okay. Uh, Will and I, for the first time ever in two years of recording this, are facing each other. Yeah. It's weird, but in a weird way, it's making the conversation flow in a very easy way. <laughs> and so... Yeah. Well, uh, I, we're getting off topic a little bit. <laughs> is the takeaway. Uh, right. I'm going to build the fourth wall back up brick by brick real Yeah, quick. please do. <laughs> I'm breaking. <laughs> I always break. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't I don't really respect the faithless looting conversation. No, I don't. Um think. because I mean, I get that the is it Phoenix Phoenix deck is scary, but I think that there's so the argument against banning stuff like is it Phoenix is that mm. it's a really fun card to play with. Yeah, but really no creature other than um, uh, Bloodbraid Elf has made a deck tick so well, right? Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, Do so I agree with that? Bloodbraid Elf was like the engine that kept Jund yeah. in the game Because it was such a high value play. Right. So then Is It Phoenix is the engine for that deck. Oh, yeah. It just keeps going, keeps I'm going. I'm trying to think if there's any other deck that's got like the well, one creep, which I'm sure there is. I just can't think of it. I mean, it. I guess Death Shadow, but that's yeah, like... it's a whole other thing. <laughs> right. And Death Shadow, honestly, is not hard to like remove as no, a creature not in really. and of itself. You can fatal push it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It you costs can fatal one. push it. Um, and just like Is It Phoenix, you can remove the graveyard. Yeah. Right, and you're no, good. You're exactly right. In the, in that instance, I mean, he can come back. A lot of stuff to talk about that, but yeah, there are other cards I think you can ban out from under the deck without hurting the format. Mm-hmm. Uh, Faithless looting is such a like well-rounded magic card in that you're giving up resources for more resources. Yeah, and it's not uh, card advantage by any means. No, like, and you're a hundred percent. The only thing that you're gaining off of this is graveyard stuff. Right, and like, I mean, it and is, digging, yes. but like. You know, it's really just for graveyard stuff. I mean, stuff. it is powerful to be able to throw something in the yard. We've yeah. seen that. There's a bunch of decks Absolutely. that want to do that. Yeah. Um, there's decks like the, what's his name? If you delve a lot, I'm cheaper. Gurmag Angler. Nope. Um, not delve, sorry. If you discard or cycle cards. I'm from the desert set. Oh, wow. With oh, the Egyptians. Freaking gah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Is it a mummy? It's a 4-4. Four, four. It ain't a mummy. That's that right. Costs something, but you know what I'm less. talking about. No, I know what you're talking about. But so it was a deck for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what is, I know mm, that's gonna bother. I know. Me. Uh, you continue on, sir. <laughs> right, but so there, so there's that card. Um, it gets played. Uh, Faithless looting that is gets played in a lot of Grixis decks. Yes, like it. It is a it is a great card. Um, but it's not. It's not the engine that makes those decks tick. Like it. It is great. Uh, in the Is It Phoenix decks, for obvious reasons, you want to yes. throw Phoenixes in the yard, uh, pull more instants and sorceries, be able to spend them, blah, 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 blah. However, its value declines steadily in the late game Yeah. Uh, when card draw becomes much less scarce. Now, uh, Hollow one. God. Yeah. Sorry. Alpha one. <laughs> I wasn't listening to anything you said, so I'm sorry no, if you're I interrupted. Fine. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, Faithless Looting, uh, its value drops off in the late game. Yeah. Uh, when your hand size shrinks, you can't pay the discard two cost. Yep. Um, so eventually there is a there is a time when that card you can't cast it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um you talk about things like probe being an efficient yeah. uh cantrip, card draw engine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh Faithless Looting <laughs> is not probe. It doesn't make a deck tick that well because probe is just free. Yeah. Uh probe we, literally just takes right. a card out of your deck. Right. We've harped on that before. Yeah, yeah. Um circling it back around, I think that <clears throat> you don't ban the Phoenix. Uh if you ban things like uh, Crackling Drake, mm. you do not hurt the format whatsoever. What a weird card to ban, though, right? Right, but think about it. Yeah, the deck doesn't have another threat afterwards. That's I true. Mean, you have Young Pyromancer and a few. 
Yeah, I don't know if the deck itself would just have to like change. Like if you would just throw Pyromancer mm -hmm. in as like a go wide strategy instead mm -hmm. of like an all in on the Crackling Drake kind of thing. I mean, the Crackling Drake right. is such a good threat. Like definitely for that deck, and and that's why I say like you you neuter it a little bit, right? How you weird though would it out. be to be like looking as a new modern player, be looking yeah. at the ban list and it's and like Stoneforge Mystic and then Crackling Drake. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I know. Uh, I know. Well, I mean, what? isn't Squadron, is Squadron Hawk? No, Squadron Hawk's not banned. No. There are other cards out of that yeah, deck that yeah. was banned, but um, <laughs> I don't think... feel weird, that's all. I don't think it gets to be the only ban necessarily. Oh, no, no, no. Um, but, <laughs> like, I'm not... Let me look at the list because I'm not thinking of another example. But all that to say is that I think if you ban Faithless Looting, if you ban uh, the Phoenix, yeah, you take either you take one deck out of the format that just got its legs, yeah, just was started to get played, yep, um, or you hurt a vast number of decks, yeah. Uh, and I just don't think that Faithless Looting deserves that. No, I don't um, think Faithless Looting does. Deck. Absolutely not. What am I looking at here? Um, I don't even know, dude. Um, be that as it may, what do you uh, uh, what do you think about about the ban? Uh, I'm perfectly Fluting. okay with like nothing being banned right now. Um, yeah, I don't. I I'm with you. I don't think there's a reason to no, ban uh, the faithless looting. No. I also still am on the camp that uh, ancient stirrings doesn't need to be banned personally. Um, and I also I don't keep up with standard as much, but from the stats that we've seen and the stats that they gave yeah. i don't think that nexus of fate needed to be banned either so i'm i'm good i think it's fine sorry i don't know why i clicked on that um what are you doing i'm just looking at this weird deck this is a weird deck why ain't there any phoenix in this deck? <laughs> this doesn't budget count. uh oh it's got well let's more. let's okay. move on uh because i think we've harped on the ban list enough to be honest um so, so anyway, if you disagree with us or if you have anything that you would like to add about the ban list stuff, yeah. then feel free to let us know in the comment yeah. section. But was there an obvious ban we missed? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Uh, but let's move on. We've got War of the Spark coming out uh, in May, I believe, uh, based on the date at the top of the page that I'm looking at. Um, and I'm very, very stoked for it. So this is the 81st Magic expansion. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, and this is, according to what? Mark Rosewater, unlike any other. Um, so this is set on Ravnica. It's technically part of the, like, w though it's not a block, the guilds of Ravnica yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. block. So it's still set on Ravnica, but this is the big finale to Nicol Bolas's plan. And it yeah. triggers this whole war with 36 planeswalkers. Yeah. Uh, one of which you will get in every single pack. Uh, of War of the Spark. Yeah, so that, like, full stop right there. Pump the brakes. Yep. Uh, that has some pretty <laughs> big implications. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, what happens when they print a good Planeswalker? Uh, I'm just talking good. I, I mean, you always take it in a, it impact it. standard. You always take it in limited, in yeah. impact standard. What happens when they print a great Planeswalker? You definitely always take it, and it's real good in standard. Definitely index is and always good, good in other and it's formats. Good in modern <laughs> and other formats like that. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, planeswalkers can shape a format. Yeah, right. I absolutely. think I think that's kind Pretty of clear fair to say. You have, I mean, just to name what. Like, Let's look at Teferi. We just had yeah, that. That's a good example. Teferi was just like the king of standard and. Yeah. Like pretty good. I mean, it's still really good in modern. Uh, yeah. Arguably, we've talked about it before. Better than Jace in modern for some decks wait have we yeah wait what i have don't know we? if we've talked about it but that's been talked about before uh i know it's interesting as a concept we'll not we'll harp on that a different time because oh, we've gosh. already harped on things enough i don't know if i can let you get away with that though i don't know if it's true i'm just saying it's been talked about Jeez. um because jace is i mean jace is jace but yeah Teferi is quite pretty good. good teferi is good too um yeah, i'm just saying geez. that that debate has been out there let's just clarify i can respect that i don't um, know I'm so but conflicted. regardless the thing that i'm most worried about i'm gonna yeah, talk okay. negative first and okay. then go positive because okay, okay, i am okay. actually overall i'm very stoked about this set i will just say okay. i'm very excited about it uh downside to this they're printing 36 planeswalkers right normally right, i'd right, be right. stoked about that okay. however they well, have normally. to devalue some of them to make others better 
and to not just be like, well, you're always going to pick the Planeswalker. Like, Conceivably. You know what I mean? Like, they can't make them all amazing. Well, so here's my thinking. Yeah. Um, if this is a set unlike any other set, uh, I think that there's a lot of ways that you can go with your design. Sure. Right. So clearly this is a an idea built around planeswalkers. The yeah. set's built around planeswalkers. Speaking of which, the stained glass art is fantastic. It's amazing. Too bad Beautiful it'll never seen. be on a card. Oh, I know. Yeah, stinks. I uh, thought... Well, they, maybe not they, never, but not they, in... They could. They should. They should. But they're not this time. The, like, masterpieces? That'd be something. Right? I mean, that could theoretically happen. We don't know. <laughs> well, no, no. They've. I mean, they've said... Did that, they say it's not yeah, on cards? They oh, said okay. they're not printing them on any card in the set. Oh, man. I know. Um... But, so, in terms of playability, uh, if you are opening a Planeswalker every pack, mm -hmm. if every Planeswalker is at least playable, what you can do is design a set to essentially function in 36 different ways around Ooh, those Planeswalkers. Yeah, yeah. And that's, like, kind of being a little too specific for yeah, a limited yeah. format, but... You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. some cards will mesh very well with Planeswalkers. Like we saw in Origins. Yeah. Uh, if you have a Jace Planeswalker, do this. Yeah. I yeah. think even a Nama get too. Um, uh, yeah, I think so. So. Well, and we see it in the dual decks all the time. That's that They've true. been printing out. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They always print like sets or uh, yeah, set specific ones for mm -hmm. the, the dual deck Planeswalkers. Right, right, um, right, right. Which are technically standard legal, if they I'm are. not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. There has been like one card out of those. Yeah, I was gonna. Decks they're normally not that played. I should just say and that. And it was in like a like a budget uh, yeah, MTGO yeah, yeah. list. Be that as it may. Oh yeah, it was two ticks red. They used like a yeah, like a yeah, three yeah. draw. Anyway, um, but <laughs> so you could if you're designing. If I'm designing this limited format, I want to say you look at your planeswalker first. Say, mm -hmm. all right, I've got the Jace planeswalker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking Jace. These are the cards I'm looking at now. Yeah, yeah. If you can effectively make that play style, like the Jace play style, yeah. per se, fun to play in pilot, I think that'd be really cool. But that's so difficult to cram 36. There's that. There's also, um, if you make every Planeswalker Lice first pick, yeah. no holds barred. Yeah. Uh, if someone like, there's going to be a worse planeswalker. It's going to be best planeswalker. Yeah, always. That's, fine. That's just what's going to happen. If you don't pick your planeswalker, you have to be rewarded for not doing that as well. Because mm -hmm. like you don't want to punish players for their choices deck building if they make smart right. choices. Well, uh, and so to that point, yeah. that means if I understand you correctly, they're going to have to up the value of other things in the pack. Right, 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 right. Which is right, right, good. Right, right, right. I'm okay with helping value right, and everything. Right, 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 it's right. it's a magic set. I want the value. Right. right, right However. Right, 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 right. If they're upping value and upping power level on everything in this set, yeah, how's that going to affect standard? Right, and potentially other formats. Right, I mean mostly standard, obviously. Definitely. Yes, but like this could just wreck standard. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like the big question mark to me is so to bring that around. That was really long winded to say. I don't know if there's any way that all of these planeswalkers can be good. I don't think there is. I don't know if there's any way that the power level of the set, if all the planeswalkers are good, is not way too high yeah the power level well, is way too high i don't think there's a way that they can make every planeswalker amazing so yeah nothing in my mind yeah they're just gonna like piss a bunch of people off because they're gonna be like yeah hey maybe. you people that love ashiok guess what we've got a new one <laughs> but he sucks <laughs> like she, like, she, she excuse me she but she like sucks. that's the that's the kind of thing that i'm like envisioning you know what i mean like because yeah. i mean yeah Th we've Here's seen a that brand happen new Varaska for you. Her fourth printing. She's back <laughs> on Ravnica. She costs seven and kills nothing. <laughs> Comes in, untaps all forests <laughs> Ooh. for plus one. That's such a Garrick ability. Uh, speaking of which, yeah. Uh, who was not invited to the party? <laughs> <laughs> in Garrick's the still party. rampaging somewhere. Yeah, elsewhere. You'd think in a war with planeswalkers, you'd want the Garrett one could be who the one wants... that's just gonna trample things. You'd think, but he ain't. He he's not here. He's not in the set. I do think. Okay, so ones that kind of have to be good at the forefront in my mind is Nicol Bolas. He has to be got, insane. He's either got to be really good or unplayable and just really flavorful. Yeah, in that's my true. Mind. That's like, fair. He, um, you know, I do think. Yeah, I want him to be really good because they did a good job in uh, M19 Making with the Elder Nicobola's Dragon, like the flip 
the oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Sorry, i thought they did one. a really good job with that mm -hmm. to make him just a usable card <laughs> yeah because normally like i guess in amon kit uh like he was played in standard definitely was, if yeah. i'm not mistaken yeah there was some grixis nickel Bolas yeah decks. and like he was really really good but obviously that was short-lived like he's not played anymore well he's he, not a thing well he wouldn't be now but i'm just right. saying like it didn't last very long because he's just super expensive he always is that's well problem. that's the thing is that he is always and he turned talk about magic balance he's always yeah. really expensive and does a lot but of always stuff. real good but once nikki bobo went off like yeah. the game kind of oh yeah you know changed halts the game pretty much definitely tibalt's back all right, I'm really excited about this. I hope they get to all <laughs> right. He was supposed to be like... He was supposed to be good. Yeah, he was supposed yeah. to be Liliana's like nemesis, yeah, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And they just like messed him up real hard. <sighs> they, yeah, they printed like Gamble <laughs> or Goblin Lore Master, whatever you want to call yeah. it, on a walker and then just didn't give him any other relevant abilities. Like, Yeah, he's just not... <sighs> well, okay, no, that's not that's not fair to say because learn, I learned this from the professor. They... He was the first two mana planeswalker. Yes. Right. So they, the, they were still the only, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's right. But they tried to make like a fair two mana planeswalker. Yeah. Um, I mean, two mana on a planeswalker. That's I'll, cheap. I'll I mean, play it's that. Cheap. Yeah, Sweet. yeah. Um, but they didn't want to like push him too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there Which was that. Just kind of sucks because I liked Bolt. I like the little guy. I mean, I do too. Um, um he's supposed to be a like a meanie though yeah like just a jerk just a little jerk face anyway um so there's that <laughs> like let's let's briefly let's list off some names if there's anything you want to harp on yeah let's just go about. through the list and then we'll talk about it so we've got uh samut from, not really super interested yeah, not at all not in my mind um uh, nickel bolus we just talked about him yeah ashiok i'm excited love about. ashiok right the first Hope they get her right yeah the first ashiok is super good one of my favorite cards oh it's a beautiful three mana planeswalker and does so much yeah i mean it it is such a controlling card and in limited yeah. it was a nightmare oh my weaver. gosh um we have Even in standard it was no oh, weaver <laughs> that was good there you go <laughs> uh no yeah in standard it was a powerhouse it too it was the fi uh, a finisher for well yeah Esper control i was gonna say her and um aetherling Els elspeth Elspeth oh, and Elspeth. So. Yeah, Elspeth Elspeth kind of fell off. It became a one of just as like a backup, yeah, as a backup, backup sort of right. thing. Um, but we have an unknown plane walk, planeswalker. Got a couple, yeah, yeah. So there's a few that are going to be new that we're not sure about. We'll touch on those. Yeah, but yeah. so unknown planeswalker not yet <clears throat> named uh, as of today recording this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Domri raid. Uh, me. I'm a. I like Domri. I've I've never really played Domri. He's um, okay. I don't think. I, don't I think th honestly he dies. That some He's, of these are gonna die. Oh yeah, like, this is. This is uh, Infinity War for Planeswalkers, oh, yeah, guys. Yeah. Just get ready for that. I think Domri's potentially going to But die. he's such like a throwaway character in my mind. Oh, yeah. Like, no one honestly <clears throat> cares about Domri Raid. No, yeah. That's kind no, of been right. his whole story, though. Orphan <laughs> boy. <laughs> Orphan. The gruel didn't even want him. Like, yeah. He's raised in the yeah, woods yeah. of Ravnica. Yeah. Rides pigs for fun <laughs> now. Um, <laughs> but now that he's a Planeswalker, the gruel like, oh, yeah, you're strong. Okay, yeah, you're cool. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, no, no one cares about Domri Raid. I did like the new Domri Raid. He was fine. He was pretty good. My, my issue with Domri Raid is he adds so much to those colors in terms of playability. Yeah. But efficiency, in my mind, yeah, it's not so much. Not efficient at all. If I'm not sticking a fatty on board yeah. and tipping that sweet fatty <laughs> towards your life total, <laughs> no, I, I ain't it. about it in, in red it, green, I baby. It. I ain't about it. <laughs> no. Uh, we have next up Teo Verda. Verda? This is another new planeswalker. Yeah. I think it, its buzzword was like shield mage or something. Yeah, it's gonna be a defensive planeswalker, is what it looks yeah. like. I think I think what blue white probably. My guess is blue or white. mono white, yeah, something yeah. like that. I don't know. Uh -huh. Mono white might make more sense. Honestly, yeah. Um yeah, I think so. Uh Ral Zarek. Also I, I think's gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, probably. I think Niv Mizzet's gonna come in and just be like, "Bye, <laughs> take back over." Mm, hey, Ew, Ralph. this is my guild. Oh, I'm gonna need nope. you to leave. Sorry, <laughs> I know you can planeswalk, but I made that thing. I, <laughs> <laughs> I will say I like Ralzeric just in general. Ralzeric was a cool card. He was a cool card. He's not yeah. a good, really good planeswalker. I'll say. Um, he he's a planeswalker that like risk reward just yeah, like is it? He's a very exactly playable what it was. planeswalker. Um, his first printing I really really like. Yep. Yeah. Likewise, uh, likewise. I, he just he never really did all that much though. <laughs> like in the he never no. impacted much. Right, right. Because I mean he 
yeah too expensive less efficient exactly exactly um all right next up tamio yes uh which tamio do you like more i like moon sage yes all right good man mono blue i mean field researcher is sweet it's it was don't get me wrong it was fine and i like that she turned bant i think that's cool yeah just because i like that color combo but yeah bant's bant is uh fun but um, i do like moon sage more moon sage is 100 percent better i think uh karn blowing stuff up speaking of that you think he's gonna make I it i think he's gonna die yeah iron man's totally going i think down. iron man's done i think he uh, ran his honestly. arc is how i feel. that's the thing is like karn's got to be the one in my mind yeah to end nickel bolus yeah i because yeah. that's like okay so a johnny's beat him before yeah a johnny's in the set yeah maybe maybe bye bye sweet kitty prince uh <laughs> but uh karn has <laughs> also been it. like he is one of the most powerful planeswalkers. Yeah. Right? He's had a heroic arc to be sure. He's and he got, goes back as far as, like, Urza. Yeah. Which like is really cool. He was one of our first major characters. Yeah. Um, so. And he's this righteous character. So I exactly. feel like self-sacrifice like good to is, like, yeah. I feel like self-sacrifice is his thing. Yeah. He's going to, like, take Nicol Bolas down. Yeah. When he also is gonna get, you know, he's gonna yeah, take yeah, him yeah. back. He's like that that martyr figure, probably. Yeah, that's my prediction. I wouldn't be surprised. No, Jaya Ballard. Okay, also probably gonna die, but yeah. I really like Jaya. I don't yeah. know why. I just know that, like, I think it's honestly the art on the latest Planeswalker. I thought the really? her latest printing. I actually uh-huh. really liked. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't think she's all that good. Her no. Planeswalker cards have always been real weird. Yes, because they're like. Or, like, the latest one, especially, like, mono red. Mm -hmm. Add three mana to your mana. Like, add stuff. And it's just, like, that doesn't matter in red. (laughs) No. So, (laughs) what they do with Jaya, 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 whatever, is I think they always try to make red sophisticated. Yeah. Because she's, like, like the old, wizened, (laughs) uh, sorceress, wizardy lady. 100%. Who is, like, super powerful, blow stuff up in her stories and all that. But, like, is not prone to temper like her daughter and all that stuff. So, like, I'm not she's flavorful but i don't care about i don't care about her that much tibble um i don't know what he's He's gonna gonna take over dude when nickel bolus is out tibble's gonna be up on top (laughs) he's such a wild card yeah i don't know i have no clue uh got another (laughs) unknown yeah that'll be fun to see yeah um kiora do not super care about no i liked of the crashing wave um she's actually been pretty the like I'll say average, but playable. Yeah, if she's been playable. Sense. She's been she's been fine. I think. Yeah. Like she, you'd include I, her in a lot of Simic stuff. I super don't care if she dies or not, though. No, no, not at all. Uh, Soren. Soren is a baller. Uh, yeah. Soren is. Where is? He? Huh? Where Soren? Where is he prior to this story, though? I believe he's still on Innistrad. That's what I thought. Um, Was it? He's. Am I hmm. mixing him up with some stuck in a rock? Who's stuck in a rock? Stuck somewhere? in a rock? Yes. I watched okay, no, guys, listen. Okay, I watched a video about all of the planeswalkers and their likelihood to die. Okay. Because that's hilarious. But one planeswalker, and I don't remember if it's Soren because I don't pay attention to lore that much. One of the planeswalkers, it was like either Soren or uh Nahiri or one of those. Uh-huh. uh-huh, uh-huh is just uh-huh. like stuck in a rock somewhere. <laughs> and so I'm like, what the heck? Well, that would stink. Uh, wouldn't it? I don't know. I, I obviously not anymore because they're all going to be in this set. So yeah. regardless, <laughs> I was just I just think that's funny. Yeah, um, I don't know about. I like Soren. I love Soren. He's like the strongest. He's I think super cool. Well, didn't he like? Didn't he throw the Eldrazi for Ministrad? Isn't he the one that did that? Uh, he definitely helped. Yeah, I thought he was the one that he like, probably was. Their butts. I mean, he's. I could be wrong. A big swingy baddie. Eh? I like. Pay attention to lore two thirds of the way through, and then fall asleep yeah. through the rest of the movie. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> to fairy, <laughs> right? To fairy. Uh, to also think to fairy will probably die. Yeah, because he like he's done his thing. He's from an older set, and then he yeah. came back. And got, I think like, reintroduced. Okay. I think either to fairy or Karn, but probably not both will die. I don't know. I feel like Karn. I think Karn's more likely, but... I think Karn's more likely, but I also feel like Karn... Well, I don't know anymore. Karn used to be the fan favorite, obviously, with Liberated, but yeah. the new Teferi is sweet, and so I feel like more people would be hyped if Teferi stayed around. I don't know, man. 
One of them's gonna die. That's probably, all I know. Probably. <laughs> uh, Angrath. This is the Mad Minotaur from um, Ixalan. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Dovin Bane. I hope Dovin dies. I don't. I don't like Dovin. Super care about Dovin at all. He's just a douche. He's just a blue dude who likes his thopters, man. What's yeah, Dovin that's all it is. Well, he tried to take over and do some crappy stuff. I don't care about Dovin either. I don't um, care about a Johnny. Him. A Johnny is always like, he's been so aloof and out yeah. of the picture. Yeah. Um, but he's kind of like the trump card to a lot of issues that have happened in the and story. His actual cards have been they, pretty solid. Yeah, most of them are most of them are pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. My like, favorite is a Johnny Vengeance, though I don't necessarily think that's the best. The Boros one. Yeah. The blow up your land one. And just nug people for three and stuff. I love it. Yeah, that's fun. That's a good card. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Um, oh, I think no, this is not the new one. This is the Werewolf Walker Cord. Aaron Cord. Oh uh, yeah, Arlen. Arlen. Cool. Don't care about Arlen. Uh, Obnixilis. A little bad guy. Action. Yeah, Obnixilis is fun though. He was. Uh, he was good in standard. I don't really yeah. like Obnixilis though, to be honest. Um, he's good in uh, commander as well. Oh, that's true. Commander. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you don't play him outside of commander no. anymore. Um, Jing Yang Wu and Moi Maui. These are in Mo the Wu? global series, which was like an attempt to get. Was it Chinese? The Chinese population more interested or something like? I I don't Maybe. know. They were print. It was like a one of product that was generally focused on like not the U.S. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into it. Uh, don't really care. Neither of them were good. Kind of surprised that they're even in here. Check some real quick. Okay, yeah. I got paranoid. Um, that's okay. It happens. Uh, we also have right. Hotly. Hotly. I actually uh, liked the green white Hotly a lot. Uh, she was all right. She was fine. She didn't do a ton in standard. She didn't though, do a right? ton. I just like her card. I thought it was really good. It was alright. It was fine. Sarkon. How do you feel about Sarkon? I like Sarkon. He's uh he's pretty cool. He's pretty Mr. Cool. Mr. Dragon Man. Yeah, yeah. Sahili Rai. Uh, Only ever good in one thing. Don't don't care. really care about her. <laughs> uh, Narset. Uh okay. I like Narset Transcendent. I think that's a sweet card. She's pretty good. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, Nahiri. Ooh. Nahiri was you little uh, Super Saiyan white lady. <laughs> That's all I can think of. <laughs> all right. Uh, Nahiri is really good. Her card's very yeah, strong. Super, super, super good. Super strong. Uh, do you think she's going to die, though? I thought she kind of already was. Because she, like, oh. wrecked Soren's ba- uh, manor. Yeah, I thought yeah, he yeah. killed her. But obviously, not. I'm all strong. Um, I don't know. Ooh, again. Also thought was already dead. Kind of it. Well, he's a spirit dragon, right? Yep. So he's kind of dead but also kind of not dude i don't know i don't know ugin's About sweet ugin. i'm hoping that ugin just does some major damage that's all okay uh how would you feel if a bunch of these planeswalkers just died ugin came in like gave up his life to resurrect them Ooh, or something like I didn't that think because I, I mean that would be a it's like a narnia-esque kind of yeah it's kind of narnia-esque i don't know though i just <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, that'd be cool, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't... I think he just needs to do some damage, though. I mean, that's what he does. He just blows baby. up the board every time he comes into yeah. play. What about um, new Planeswalker, Davriel Kane? Who we Whoopsies. found out has a surprising amount of backstory. Yeah, has a ton of backstory for being a new Planeswalker. Yeah. Was a named character, but, like, not a card up until <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no clue. No. But, I mean, I'm not sure. No info, really. Vraska? We, uh, like, we like Vraska. I do like Vraska. She's been a villain, like, primarily. <laughs> but didn't in the she, story. like, lose memory or something when Jace, she went to Ixalan? Other way around. So Jace That's lost right. his memory yeah, when he yeah. went to Ixalan. I mixed that up. My bad. Vraska almost killed him, but then yeah, yeah. was like, oh, wait, you don't know who you are. Help me get my stuff back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> K- Kaya. Uh, uh, I think uh, okay. I just did Matt envision this like really stupid scenario where okay. like Nickel Bolas is in the middle of his like his montage, right? Like he's just going off like talking. I'm gonna destroy all of you, like all this stuff. And the planeswalkers are like, yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. kill you. And then Kaya just like phases in, slaps him across the face, and then <laughs> phases out again. <laughs> like that's all it is. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, then she's Kaya like, all right, here. peace out. <laughs> like, I've done I did what I can. <laughs> Um, I know nothing about Kaya. I'm no, I don't honest. know much. I don't care that much about Kaya either. Uh, her first printing was okay. Yeah. Her second one, much less exciting. Super underwhelming. Yeah. Right. For a three-mana Planeswalker, just, I thought right. it would be a little more. 
Uh, we have this new planeswalker, Jace Bellerin. Um, <laughs> There's no chance they kill Jace, right? Here's the thing: they either are gonna be bold, dude, yeah, and they're gonna like kill, kill him off, kill him, do it. But he, how many people would they piss off if they killed Jace? Dude, so? I'm just saying. That's ball. That's how you want your stories to go. Oh, I get it. Although magic but when wizards, has wizards ever done that? Right. They're <laughs> like, definitely like the crowd pleaser. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, Jace is the what fan if, favorite. What if we just kill Chandra? Would the, that be okay? I don't even think they'll kill Chandra. <laughs> the Gatewatch, like, I don't know. These are their flagship walkers. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, You're probably right. I don't um, think they can kill Jace, honestly. Dude, I would love it if they did. I honestly, like, I, I couldn't it. be that mad. I love Jace, but I couldn't be that mad. Dude, I'd love it if Jace, what if Jace dies, Yeah. but his spirit stays around? Yeah, now yeah. we have a black-blue Jace Ooh. who does creepy black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We have Gideon uh, hanging about. I don't care about Gideon. I don't care about Gideon. He's such a justice warrior. But he can't also, like, die. That's he's the got thing. That thing. He's like a flagship. And he's no well no, he's got that power that like super shield or oh, something. Yeah. He can't Well uh, and he also has the like black blade, reforged black blade thing, right. whatever it is. The like big weapon that's supposed to be like yeah. the one true hope. Like Goku. Um He's just King Arthur, but yeah. Super he's just boring. so goody goody. Liliana know. is super under the control of Nicol Bolas right now. Uh, not hypnotized, oh, yeah. but like didn't he like take her? He with like him? bribed her, and now like there's this thing going on. Yeah, because he was like, I can release you from your pact if you come with me. Or right, something like that. It was something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's what they're gonna do with the other guy. I think Lily's gonna start killing some of the planeswalkers. The other planeswalkers, dude. If she kills Chandra, poetic man, dude. Yeah, because they're you know they're shipped. My like. It's either that or they're going to take what I expect them to do and mm -hmm. she's going to be like, realize that it's bad to do all this stuff. And then like, like she'll a, martyr, like she'll right. be the martyr. That's you know a what predictable I mean? thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Either way, I I wouldn't be surprised if they kill Lily, actually. I wouldn't either. <clears throat> like she's almost... Or isn't the, it her last demon on Ravnica? Isn't it Rakdos? Isn't that maybe, her last one? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, or so a theory that I did hear about was that they're gonna like lich her, like they did oh, with her brother. Oh, dude! Which would be really interesting. Planeswalking lich. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Well, there's your next story arc, I yeah, guess. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Nissa. Um, All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't think she'll die. Go play with the plants, girl. Yeah. Uh, I don't, Chandra. I. I don't think they kill Chandra. I think they would kill Jaya. As a red planeswalker, yeah, but I don't think I they think kill so. Chandra. I think Chandra's like I don't think it, people care enough about Chandra. They'd be like, "Oh, Chandra." Well, they, and they did just kind of like do her big story with Kaladesh. True. But I feel like they. I don't know if they wrapped it up. I wish. I'm sorry. I do not know more about the lore. I am. I have many failings, and that's one of them. Just make it up, Kevin. Chandra's a sweet lady. All right. Well, a little you're on wrong. fire. <laughs> um, Vivian Reed, hundred percent, kind of thinks she's just gonna die. <laughs> Don't care. Because nobody... We're just here for a set. All right. Way to be the, there. War of the Spark 1. Yeah. A bunch of these Planeswalkers die. Vivian Reed's not even in it. <laughs> War of the Spark 2. Vivian Reed's back. It's Hawkeye, everybody. <laughs> That's all she is. That's all she is. <laughs> yeah, Green I just Hawkeye. don't care. Um, Dude, I don't know. I don't know, but there's 36 Planeswalkers. You're going to get one in every pack, which is real interesting to me. Uh, we just went through every Planeswalker. Yeah. That, that was, was a, a mess. Um... We need to learn more. Um, no, it's okay, though. Uh, I am excited about War of the Spark. Obviously, we don't have much information right now no, to share. Not even any spoilers really yet. No, so. um, but we will, as we get updates, obviously, we'll we'll do our thing and update you guys. Uh, but yeah, Maybe. If we if care enough. Nice. Um, but yeah, so with that, uh, we come to our Crackerbacks, sponsored by Grand Slam. Uh, link in the description to their Facebook group. Definitely check them out. We do have our thing going on where whoever gets the most Shocklands uh, wins. Foil. Yeah, I did. Um, and what is our... What's the score right now? Uh, you are 2-0? Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Well, 2-1 now because you got one. No, I didn't. Do you get, oh, no, no. That's I'm sorry. Gate. I thought you got Godless Shrine. I got a Priest of Forgotten Gods. Mm. Sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a card. You add two black and draw a card. I love it. 
It's a weird card. But I don't know what it goes in. Yeah, that's the thing. I think that's a powerful effect. If it didn't tap, holy cannoli. Yeah. Woo. Friends, this uh, would be in modern everywhere. This is Visser Seer, uh, essentially. But I don't know if you can get like an untap effect. Yeah. Some kind of flicker thing. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> but then it would need haste, too. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Commander would love it. be the pick honestly i don't know if i have a ton of other stuff i have deputy of detention and that's 100 yeah. percent oh pick. psych i have a terramander uh, i love that card um terramander is pretty good i also have hackerbat oh nice also pretty good yeah i think it's actually hackerbat i actually also got a hackerbat um oh. but i do think deputy of detention is definitely my pick the card's just sweet removal on a stick um yeah. yeah no no uh shock lines this time Although Chillbringer's good. It might be Chillbringer. Chillbringer is really good, actually. Kind of depends. You could kind of go either way with it, I feel like. Yeah, this pack isn't built for first picks, but it's Hacker Pack. <coughs> it's Hacker Pack. That's anyway. Fur. That's fur. Uh, but yeah, so uh, no more Shocklands, still 2 0, but uh, still plenty more packs to go until War of the Spark comes out. So there is still yes, chance. Yes, 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 yes. Finish words. The anticipation um, is building. War yeah. of the Spark and Horizons, man. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out soon. Yes. I'm really excited. Uh, I really hope they don't mess up Modern Horizons. Because I care more about that, honestly, than War of the Spark. Though I am actually weirdly excited about War of the Spark. Uh, but I think, unless there's anything, Will, that you wanted to talk about, uh, we yeah. can wrap up this episode, right? Good? Yeah. All good? Yeah. All you guys good? good? Okay. Uh, with that, we are going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the jazz. My name's Kevin. My name's Will. This has been It Resolves.